Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are currently building and we're building a lot of things. We need to hop on in here. We've got 22,000 alloys until we're done here. We've got 8.1 thousand right now. I think that minor artifacts, uh, they're probably not going to be our issue here actually. It seems fine. We'll just continue to work on that. We are currently making primarily Corvettes. We've got two battleships being worked on here, but these are all Corvettes. I don't know. I think we built the cruisers already. I don't know. We'll find out. That seems reasonably fine. We'll take on forward here, and let me just check through here real quick. I don't expect there to be any major job issues at this moment. Yeah, this looks about right. So that's fine. Checking in on civilian ships, no problem. So, is our truce up with these guys? Hang on. This is our truce here. As soon Research as this autosave concluded. finishes, I think. No, that's their Pain Galactic on time. Uh, this is the truce. So they have a truce with not us. Wait, they have a truce with the Free Brill Administration? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Yet they're in they're in a union with them. Weird. Okay, whatever. It appears that our truce is over is the answer. So the question is, with these guys having awakened, these guys here and these guys here, are we interested in going to war? I think the answer is probably still yes. Probably yes. At any rate, with diplomacy out of the question, we'll need to be creative in our support. We've engaged in discussions with the Ba'ul to determine a practical way to lend aid. The Ba'ul can attempt to defend themselves, but have limited military capabilities. They would benefit from mechanical or genetic enhancement to improve their army's speed, strength, and resistance to incendiary weapons. We may help the Ba'ul evade the Grunur by obscuring their homeworld with a temporary cloaking device. This colony would still be lost, but at least the seed of their civilization will survive. As a last resort, we could carry Ba'ul seedlings back through the rift, allowing the species to live on no matter what happens in this dimension. Why not all three? <laughs> We're going to try to genetically modify them, and we'll see what happens. That is kind of our thing. We want to replace them with robots, right? So that's what we're going to do. Fantastic. It is, of course, difficulty six, so we'll see if that actually does anything. It's reasonably likely that we end up failing that, but that is fine. So checking through here for additional jobs at this point, there's nothing major, which I didn't really expect there to be, but I wanted to go through again after the month tick, just in case. So that is fine. We can definitely gain a physics insight and do our astral moves. No doubt about that. And we can continue to reinforce our 12th fleet here. So that all looks good. Yeah, we've got 11 Titans plus our Federation fleet. So that is all seeming fine. We're gonna have this fully reinforced very soon. What are we at for minor artifacts? Two, okay. So now we are delayed by our minor artifacts, not by our alloys. That's fine. We're actually really, really close to getting all of this built. So that looks great. We're gonna be at like 50 some. Okay, so yeah, 479 minor artifacts is what we're going to need. We're a ways away from that, but that is okay. We'll definitely get there soon enough. So this is our construction ship situation. And the question is, do we want more construction ships? The answer is yes, we do. I'm going to get two construction ships going here. And we just finished an orbital out over this way. But of course, that isn't finishing any of our construction ships. So that is fine. We're going to get two additional construction ships, and I just want to absolutely blitz through the remainder of our construction here. So that will be fine. We don't have that many more uncolonized systems at this point, right? So it's not going to take that long to get to the next stage anyway, but the next stage will take a little while. So we're going to come out to Bax, and we're going to build out over here. This is going to be a Habitat Central Control Complex. And of course, we've got our other construction ship, which is going to come out to Weetris, and we can build a Habitat Central Control out here. Perfect. So that'll be fine. We are definitely going to be running out of influence at a certain point. I just want to get all of this underway, right? 
Where do we have that is not currently being constructed? I actually think that's all of them. Which is exciting, for sure. Now, to be clear, there's more to build. But I believe that's all of them that were marked on the map as not being colonized. So that looks good. We've got plenty of places to continue to build it. But this is looking absolutely excellent. Wonderful, indeed. So, let's continue to reinforce our ships here. This is now saying 10,000. Interesting. Why did that go up? That's interesting indeed. I'm guessing we didn't have what we needed for Corvettes and things got awkward. Sure. Let's reinforce this, and that's the number of Corvettes that we can build. Of course, our limiting factor now is minor artifacts. So that is absolutely okay. We need 342 total minor artifacts. We've got about 10% of what we need. So we can definitely reinforce this again and get a few of those going anyway. So yeah, we can definitely get these minor artifacts slowly built up over time. We're going to need to rebuild our stockpile of them. That will take some amount of time for sure. But once we have our stockpile built, that's when we're going to talk about going back to war. So that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. No problem whatsoever with that. So we'll hit this reinforce all button again. Again, we can get about 10% of it, which is in this case, two. It would have been three, but there's some slight rounding. It's fine. So we'll let that go for a little while. And looks like our notifications have dramatically changed. We only have one notification over here at this point. And that is this generator. Initial colonization Fantastic. phase. Complete. So robot assembly complex is going to go in. And similarly here, we're going to need a robotic assembly plant. Perfect. And that should also mean that we have a civilian ship that is... No, it shouldn't mean that. Never mind. It absolutely should not mean that. Excellent. Okay, so the Amazon just finished an orbital habitat over here in Hall. We're absolutely going to colonize that, and that is going to be post-Carpetanians. Speaking of which, that list seems long, but no, this is correct. Okay, fine. So we're going to head on in here. We need to build a couple of orbitals. This is not going to be very many orbitals being built, specifically two. That is a very empty system. Okay. Well, we'll get those underway. And the Jordan just finished a Habitat Central Control Complex up over here. We're certainly going to put in a post-Carpetanian colony there. And we're going to need some orbitals. So we're currently out over here. Right. Let's just head up over this way. We'll build a major orbital here, a minor here. This will be a major. We can't build over this Dyson Swarm, which is fine. And we'll put in a major orbital here, a major orbital here, a major here, and this will be a minor. And that's it. That's all we need here. Cool. We're going to have more of those finishing, of course, and that is absolutely fine. Now, how are we doing on those minor artifacts? Well, we're back up to Initial having 65 of them. So complete. let's reinforce a number of additional Corvettes, and we've established this colony. So obviously, we, we put in a robot assembly plant. We've got a lot of civilian ships going here. No doubt about that. Okay. Any jobs that need to be done? Well, no, but that's fine. So we're going to have the Sahara finishing up something here. That's a, just an orbital. Okay. Absolutely fine. So I believe we're going to get started on doing our orbital rings on the next completion. And that's great. We're really, really happy about that. I'm just checking through and making sure that every single one of these is colonized right now or has a construction ship in it, and I currently believe that to be the case. So that is absolutely wonderful. Initial colonization phase complete. Okay, so this colony was just established. Of course, we're going to put a robot assembly plant in there. There was never any doubt about that. And the next thing to finish is probably going to be like the Yukon, but that has eight orders beyond it. A major orbital in Fagor. Okay, so this is going to be done very, very soon. That sounds good. So the way that we're going to do this is we're just going to go through our planets here. And every single one that is a planet, not a habitat, 
is going to need to have an orbital ring built and also a habitat built in its system is the way that that's going to work. It's going to be mildly awkward, but uh, we'll get it done. It should go relatively quickly, assuming we don't run out of influence, and uh, we're going to run out of influence. That is Initial almost a guarantee phase at this point. Complete. So I'm going to reinforce these again. That is the majority of our remaining ships, I believe. And we do need a robot assembly plant over here. Perfect. We're just waiting for the Volga to finish up, which it'll be done with momentarily. There we go. So Fagor is complete here, and the ship here, this can go up to Sol. And in Seoul, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build an orbital ring around Earth. The second thing we're going to do is build an orbital ring around Mars Generator. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to come up and build a Habitat Central Complex. Then we're going to need to build a whole bunch of orbitals, but we require the Habitat Central Complex to be built first. So... The Volga is responsible for getting that system done, the Sol system. So that'll be fine. The orbital rings will allow us to further specialize and boost our planets to just an insane degree, and that will be wonderful. So at this point, how many do we need? 114 minor artifacts. We've got 37. Ah, yes, the war in heaven is starting up. Ever since the awakening of the Aquinian and their ancient Seth Weir rivals, the two giants have been at odds, skirmishing and jockeying for influence, probing each other's might. This has resulted in a series of in increasingly terse confrontations, finally erupting in an open battle bet between an Aquinian fleet and their Seth Weir counterparts in a remote system. The conflict has now escalated into full-blown war between the Aquinian peacekeepers and the Seth Weirian reclaimers. Each side has sent a representative to the younger races, promising great rewards for those who join them in their war, and terrible punishments for those who choose to stand against them. Choosing either side in this conflict will mean giving up our independence, but remaining neutral can be even more dangerous unless we can find other neutral empires to stand by our side. They will both fall to our might. Beautiful. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're not too concerned about them, to be honest. It'll be fine. We've got very, very powerful fleets. So the League of Non-Aligned Powers have, have started up. Not all of the younger races chose to join with either side in the war raging between the Elder Empires. Some, like ourselves, have remained neutral, but are facing the prospect of fighting the Elder Menace alone if the war should come their way. We've been contacted by representatives from other empires about the idea of creating a League of Non-Aligned Powers, with the explicit goal of opposing both sides in the war. As we're the current Galactic Custodians, we've been asked to lead this League. Accepting would almost certainly mean war with the Awakened Empires, but at least we would have allies to stand by our side instead of facing them alone. Yes, we will lead the League. So, the Pan-Galactic Science Compact is going to change to the League of Non-Aligned Powers. And they're going to join our existing Federation? Oh, this is interesting. But nothing else about our Federation changes. Definitely. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. We could change this over to fleets. And that's maybe not the worst of ideas. But our tech power is plenty high for now. We'll see if we need to change it later as other people join. Okay, so the Crush Collective, they're going to join. Beautiful. An alien empire has cracked the our Union of Cliff Laugh Worlds. The Shows. Ethereum Galactic Combine. Yes. An alien empire has established Wonderful. Everyone joins our federation. The Dabax Hive have asked to join. That's these guys down over here. We'll be glad to An have alien them. Empire has established this is the Free Brill Administration. So we're poaching a lot of people from the uh, from from the federation over here. Which appears to have disappeared. Okay. Wonderful. So we'll get the League of Non-Aligned Powers joining the Free Brill Administration. At this point, we've conquered most of the galaxy accidentally. I like it. This is amazing. Like, seriously, this is most of the galaxy that's under our control. The Zexoan Republic is the leader of the Pangalactic Entente. This just changed everything.
there is seriously this fallen empire. There's this rebellion over here. There's this fallen empire. And then there's these two fallen empires. There's the Zixoan Republic. And then there's everyone else who joined our federation. The entire galaxy just unified. That's insane. And they unified under us. We are by far the most technologically advanced. That is incredible. So that just happened. We'll see if the Zixoan Republic decides to join us. It'd be amazing if they did. Can we get... Uh, this is... Okay, these... I don't know where these guys are. Who are these guys? I mean, we're going to accept. Oh, that's the guys who rebelled. Yeah. They can come on in. Beautiful. There is a signatory under the Aquinian Peacekeepers over here. The Zixoan Republic has asked to join. Beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal. So, at this point... Who is not part of this? Well, there's the two Awakened Empires. And where's the other one at? The Awakened Empire's out over here. There's the two Awakened Empires. There is these two Fallen Empires. And there is these guys here and here. These two small, small guys decided to join. Okay. There's maybe a couple more factions here or there. This is now these guys asking to join. Or, who is this? Hang on. This is another little guy, right? Yeah, that's these guys. We'll be glad to have them. They are welcome. Yeah, literally the entire galaxy just unified. That is huge. That means that this series is probably going to end fairly soon. <laughs> um... Okay, we'll be glad to have them. This is another small faction. Another day, another scientific breakthrough. And we just had another scientific breakthrough, indeed. Of course we did. So we're going to continue to head down through here. There is a notification here, but it must be the Dabit Prime there. That's okay. Sure. So, we do need to get our fleets reinforced. At this point, this is going to be all of our fleets reinforced. This will almost certainly be war with these guys. However, we're incredibly strong. Okay, the Estuanian Imperial Territories. Who are these guys? Ah, these out over here. Yep, these are just tiny little guys. They're welcome. Absolutely. Initial colonization phase commencing. So that is fantastic. Receiving transmission. Embassy? From the Free Brill Administration? Yeah. They're part of the Federation. Of course they can have an embassy. I mean, everyone would be able to have an embassy. Complete. But Opening comes. This is just insane. How the entire galaxy just unified. There are these guys down over here. They're not very strong. We could send a single fleet over to wipe them out. And I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to send the 5th Fleet 11 over to do exactly that. It's going to take them a while to get there. But we're going to head on over and wipe these guys out so we don't have to worry about anything down here. And we're going to go to war with these guys. For the time being, we need to be banking minor artifacts and alloys. Both of those are going to be of vital importance in this upcoming war. So banking those Initial up is going to be very important. Commencing. So we have no job issues at this moment, and we have no construction ships to assign. So for the time being, this seems absolutely okay. Now, I want to check our tech compared to everyone else. We are almost double everyone else's tech. So that seems great. We're going to retain leadership of the League of Non-Aligned Powers for literally ever, and that's amazing. We are going to need to go after these Fallen Empires Council eventually, but ready. after taking out the Awakened Empires, that's going to be no real challenge. So that sounds fine. Receiving transmission. Just wondering about the jump drive range over here. It's not great. So this embassy is okay. Yep, that is completely and totally fine. I want to check on our cohesion. Wow, plus 31. Okay. 
Well, everyone has a free and automatic research agreement, so they're going to be getting tech, but I think we're still going to be pushing ahead of them, most likely. So we have a habitat complex that just completed, and that is out over here. That 100% needs to be colonized, and we are going to send some robots on over to do that. And this construction ship, of course, is going to need to be building some orbitals. So we're going to do a major, a minor, this is going to be a major orbital, this is going to be a minor orbital, and then down over here we're going to get a minor here, a major here, this is going to be a major orbital, and this is going to be a major orbital, this will be a major and a minor, cool, this is going to be a major orbital, this will be a minor orbital, a major here, a major here, and that looks good. So that'll get that system completed. Beautiful. So the question is, when are we going to go to war with these guys, right? Well, we've got the 5th Fleet 11 out to deal with these lads. And it won't be too long before we get there, in theory. We'll make our way through this hyper relay network. And then once we get out to here, we may consider just jump driving it. Or maybe we should jump drive back. Might be the better bet. So for now, this seems okay. We're just banking up our resources, particularly the minor artifacts. That's what we really need here. How long before we can do a relic? Okay, yeah, that's going to be a while. This is still on cooldown, so... We can definitely do our lateral artifacting eventually. But for now, this is fine. Are they even going to declare on us when we're this strong in comparison, is the question. We may end up declaring on them, which we certainly can do. It's not a problem. But we're apparently not getting involved in the war in heaven. I'm assuming it exists. Yeah, it does indeed exist. Cool. We're going to go after them eventually, but... The longer this waits, for the time being, the better off we are, because we are very, very low at this point on our minor artifacts. But, with the galaxy behind us, this is going to be real interesting. No doubt about it. So let's go eliminate the Ravagers, and that'll be fine for now. And then we can start taking out some of these other fallen empires, perhaps? This war is going to end eventually... And they, they each got, I think, one signatory. So one thrall, one signatory. Indeed. Well, we're not scared of them for obvious reasons. It's absolutely wonderful. And the Indus needs orders. Okay, so we're going to colonize here. This is, of course, going to be robots. There we go. And let's get some orbitals built over here. So, first things first, we're going to need a miner here. This is going to be a miner. There's going to be a lot of miners here. So, this will be a minor orbital. We'll do a major orbital over here. Actually, uh, this is not quite as efficient as I would have liked, but major orbitals around these shattered worlds are absolutely fine. We'll do a major orbital here. This is going to be yet another major. And then this will be a minor orbital. And then we'll come over to Zeran, we'll, where we'll do a major orbital. And then we'll do a major here. This is going to be our last, I think, major. Yes, that looks correct. Okay, beautiful. So we're still working on banking up influence for our constructions. We'll run out of influence eventually. The artisan troop? Yes. We're going to continue to patronize them. Cool. So that sounds good for now. And yeah, we're absolutely making our way through these constructions very, very quickly. We're up to 230 minor artifacts that needs to continue. Ah, here we go. It did not take long for the Ancients to take notice of the League of Non-Aligned Powers. Representatives from both warring powers have come to Earth demanding the dissolution of the League and for its members to choose sides in the war. Naturally, re we refused, and as of this morning, we are now in a state of war with both the Aquinian Peacekeepers and the Sithwirian Reclaimers, as expected. Get the hell out of our galaxy, both of you. Indeed. So, they both declared war on us, Warning. and... We are subject to a declaration of war. This is not going to go well for them. 
This is not going to go well at all. We're going to take these fleets. This isn't even our full power. We've still got a fleet down over here. We're going to take these fleets and we are going to attack over here. I'm going to leave their thralls for our for our lesser partners to take out. And we're just going to head over and attack here. The Aquinians, they're not going to last long. We should also bring over this army, which is 26k in strength. And we'll just park it right there. So it's going to take us a while to get here. We're going to focus on the Aquinians first, and then the Sisweirians is going to be the idea. Like, these guys are inferior to us, and these guys are inferior to us. And that's us. That doesn't even count the ridiculous strength of our Federation at this time. We honestly probably don't even have to lift a finger, and the galaxy will handle this. But we're in charge. We're going to do it. So that is absolutely great. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to crush these Ravagers down over here that have been bothering the state of Havo for a while. And then we're going to crush the Awakened Empires. And once that's done, we're going to need to take over the Continuance and the Mechtux Protectors. And from there, the question is, is that it? That's the entire galaxy under lock at that point. Now, not all of these guys are going to be changing over to robots, but we can we can apply diplomatic pressure over time as long as they remain within our Federation. If anybody leaves the Federation after this, then we can crush them as well. They'll, they'll kind of be independent at that point, and, well, there'll be a truce. It's fine. I'm going to put that cut in here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.